Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 19th, it's 2019, and it's uh, just a little bit after 7 p.m. here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, let me minimize this. This is Manicam. It's a program that's taking care of uh, recording the desktop here. Let me just minimize that. No reason for you to see that. <clears throat> I just have to be able to locate it when I want to stop this video. Uh, today I had uh, Windows install. I moved myself from the uh, early adopters or whatever from the fast ring to the slow ring and today apparently they released uh, <clears throat> a fast ring update and a slow ring update and I got the slow ring I think basically they're the uh, the same and no new features for Windows 10 they're getting ready to very quickly release Windows 10 build that is the uh, Windows 10 19H1 build or I'm not sure what, what do they call it. It's, it's going to be Windows 10 and then they'll be working and well, they're already working on the next version of Windows and uh, some people if you want to don't do it. <laughs> uh, you can adopt into that and be getting those, but you may, like I've told you before, I've uh, done these uh, preview, you know, early preview releases or whatever, and twice I, uh, once I totally had to uh, format my computer, it, uh, I just had to totally format it, it just, my computer wouldn't even boot up or, you know, they did something to the root directory or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> but I haven't had any uh, trouble this time, I don't think. Unless that was this time that I had that problem. Uh, so, uh, and the update today, March 19th of this, it almost immediately... Uh, uh, you know, it did, did its reboot or whatever and installed whatever it was and it was not a big install and the, I'm not sure if it was the install right before this one or the one before that and I didn't time it, I should have. Oh, I think it took an hour. It took forever to uh, upload. So these uh, two today that they released are just fixing little tiny problems because they're getting ready to release the Windows 10 that is Windows 10. Uh, and then they'll be working on whatever next. But <clears throat> what everybody's wondering about is because uh, I'm using Edge right here. Uh, We're wondering, I'm sure they will, um, I'm guessing, that, uh, you know, Windows, they've decided that Edge is going to use the Chrome guts, or I'm sure, well, I'm not sure what they call the, the in, you know, the coding in there. They're going to use that of uh, uh, Chrome. So, and you know, these others, also a lot of these other browsers, if not all of them, are using the, that code in there that, so, <clears throat> because it used to be, now Edge is not bad right now. They haven't made that change yet to it that they're going, that they're going to make, but it was, uh, everybody, including myself, as soon as you installed Windows, 
you used Edge <clears throat> to download Chrome or something, you know, something else. Uh, because I couldn't get the things, the additions that I needed uh, uh, for the extensions. And then, of course, now Edge is not bad. You know, I've got the extensions that I need. But what's going to happen is, and I would think they would do it because they'd want to get that done as quick as they can, take care of that problem because <clears throat> Edge has been a problem for them. By the way, I just have my one 4K monitor, and I have it in 4K mode. And the reason that I've... I like a large work area, and having two monitors, uh, although it was nice, because I could work on something over here, like this here, I could have this over on the other monitor, and I could see it, and uh, and you wouldn't see it, but uh, the other reason is I moved my uh, Roku TV, small Roku TV. I think it's we looked. I think we looked and checked. But anyway, I put it over there across the room. And with the other monitor here that I had next to it, the 4K, I had to slide it up to try to level it off with the other monitor. And this 4K monitor, by the way, has a really nice uh, sliding up and down easily. It goes up quite a... But it blocks the... Uh, and just So I could just take that away, the other monitor, I could go down a couple inches and then I could see the uh, Roku TV which I hardly ever have on right now well right now it's showing the the time whoops there it is raise it up a little bit I gotta come back here to raise it up easily let's see there it goes it's not focusing very well let's see well, anyway, you see it, and uh, I only have one light on, by the way, in this room, just a lamp over there on top of my little tiny office refrigerator, and with this Logitech uh, Brio camera, that's all I need, but I also have two now umbrella lights up there that put out a, a lot of light and uh, don't really need them but I do I do use them sometime for these videos so uh, so the new Windows release is uh, coming very very soon and I think that it's going to be using the maybe they'll just go ahead and no, I'm not maybe what they'll do is go ahead and release the final Windows 10 release stop updating it because they're working on the other one and then maybe what they'll just do is just uh, do a little update and then we'll have Edge. I'll be interested to see, because I really like, actually, now, Edge is pretty good. But it'll be better. And I'm not sure. I wonder if Windows is going to, I think they, yeah, I think Windows, Microsoft, will have their, the extensions and everything for Edge in, in fact, I think it's already there. Some extensions are in there in the, uh, yeah, I think so. Microsoft Store. Uh, let's open this up all the way here. I think that Top Apps probably missing something.
I think they're going to have, I'm sure they'll have their edge in there. But let's see apps. Maybe let me click on this and see. Uh, you can see what you know looking here if if I own if I paid for and you'll see probably a bunch of them that well not so much in here as in the uh, Android app store but Anyway, well, we didn't find out what we wanted to find out, did we? Um, oh, today I watched, it's unusual for me to watch, I watched the, uh, oops, I think this thing is, yep, uh, it's, like I told you, it's a nice tripod and I bought the ball joint thing, fluid ball joint and, and replaced that. Uh, but I have to, tighten it down I watched today the Google whatever they call that where they announced well I don't think they announced any new hardware did they well anyway they announced today the the uh, oh what was it called I bet there's a link here let's see let me uh Open in a new tab. Okay. So, uh, oh, here it is. Google launches a new Strata game streaming service. And I watched the entire thing. It was exactly one hour. Um, uh, and, uh, I'm not really into gaming. I do play Civilization V. No, Civilization VI. Uh, but I've never, I've, I've never played games against anybody online. And I've been playing Civil, Age of Empires. I used to play, and then I ended up playing, going to Civilization VI. Well, I've told you before. I just, I enjoy building up my little nation and uh, and I don't I don't really consider myself a gamer but I guess that makes me a gamer I definitely don't play against anybody else but this strata that they are releasing later this year it's going to be pretty amazing if you are a gamer because they're using the Google cloud and they're using the Google centers and uh, hard all the hardware and lines that they have and what they've already ex experiment, experimented with and can do is we're going to be able to on any platform if you have a Chrome browser you'll be able to do high speed gaming you know like my grown son was wanting to get a and I think he has an i, I think an i7. But, he, you know, he wants a faster video card and a whatever. You're not going to need it if you can find the games there that you want with Strata. Because uh, if you have a Chrome browser, even if you have a Chrome book, you can just with minimal, you know, the minimum of memory or whatever, you'll be able to do high speed gaming, you know, right, right on it. You'll be able to do high speed gaming. You'll be able to, they showed it, you know, moving from, they had them lined up, you know, they had a uh, Windows computer with minimal power. You know, it was not fancy one and using Chrome they uh, were playing the game excellent excellent rendering and everything and then they just moved over to uh, continued playing the game on a cell phone then they went to a gaming box I believe 
which you don't need, went to something else. It's just, oh, they went to a Chrome, a Chromebook, I think. I have a Chrome box and I'm not even using, but uh, it's going to be pretty neat. So I'm guessing that uh, they're probably going to charge, what, you think 20 bucks, which would be a good deal if they have all the games and they, they're they lining all that up. 20 bucks a month, you know, 4K gaming, high speed, and it doesn't matter what computer you're using or what device you're using. And they're saying that you can use the Xbox and whatever the other one is, use their joystick, but they're going to have, they showed it. Maybe they show it here. Yeah. They, they have their, which uses Wi-Fi uh, gaming thing. And I'm guessing what, 50 or 60 bucks for it. And uh, I'll put a link to this site here. But uh, yeah, I watched it, man. My son in the other room heard it and then asked me a couple of questions. So he's definitely interested in it. My grandson is, I think he's 27, I think. God, I don't think. Um, oh, he is into gaming big, big time. And he has big monitors, multiple ones, expensive gaming card, all that type of stuff. Uh, I'll be interested to ask him about ask him about it. I I think he'll be. I think this is going to be his dream come true, and we have. Well, he lives in a different apartment. Uh, but uh, at both locations, you know, we have high speed uh, internet, so. For gaming, I think this is this is the this is the thing. I think, unless Microsoft messes it up somehow, uh, I mentioned before quota, quota, right, quota, whatever this is. <clears throat> you know, if you're signed up, or if you go, you get these. You know questions and then you have people answer them and I I've got hooked on this years ago and man I spend uh, people ask different questions and I if they interest me of the answers of course are what interests me you know uh, what event actually traumatized you as a kid uh, uh, as a police officer what is the most trumped up charge you ever witnessed in your career uh, is the Trump administration going forward and allowing students to bankrupt against student loans? And uh, so the questions are really pretty good. Uh, and I've actually answered two or three in the many in the years since I've been reading. And when I start reading these, it, it's like sort of like game playing. All of a sudden, you know, I'll I'll, I'll think. Something will come up and I'll think, my God, uh, I've been doing this for an hour and a half or two, reading these questions and answers. I've answered two or three times. I've, uh, but what, uh, and maybe you can tell, I'm not I'm sure if you can tell by the, the heading up here, maybe it looks a little bit different. I got a notice this morning saying that I was being invited to whatever they call it and that I now, and I clicked and logged in and I now have the ability to ask questions, which I think I could do any, you could do anyway. And I have the ability to answer questions, which I know you could do before. And what 
you can, I'm not sure what the other little benefits are. No charge, free of charge. Um, but now that I'm logged into that, you can ask questions. And if you ask good questions, and a lot of people answer the question, or I'm not sure exactly how it works, or read, you know, the answers, or you, if you come up with an answer, you put in an answer, you can earn some money. And I think that's a big, big mistake because now, now maybe this has been going on for a while. That would explain a few questions and things that I've seen being asked. Because I've, I've been thinking that the quality of the questions has declined and I wondered about that. So I think this is a big mistake because you're going to have people asking questions that are just asking the questions in order to get revenue or commission or whatever you want to call it. And it'll be the same with people answering. You know, before I think everybody's been sitting here, probably not everybody, well, everybody, let's say everybody. Most, just about everybody's been sitting here thinking, well, well, that's a great question, but I'm not going to answer it because I've got a little bit of the information or maybe or something, but I don't have everything, and I, somebody better will answer it. And I think now you're going to have people just... So I think that's a bad idea. But I spent an awful lot of time uh, uh, reading these. I hope the quality doesn't go down. I think it's going to be... A problem. Uh, you can see that they have sponsor. I'm not sure if they. Have, maybe I just didn't. You know, I, we all tune these. Uh, we've learned to tune the advertising out. This is an insurance company. Uh, I think I'm signed up with them. I think for homeowners insurance, or no rental insurance, very inexpensive. Well, I guess it's $5 a month. And the apartment that I live in, the apartment complex requires everybody to have renter's insurance. So I'm not sure how many advertisements they have. Well, here's another one. Let's see. Sponsored by LowerMyBills.com. So I'm not, I don't remember I'm having, I may just be, I tuned them out. But I'm thinking now that they want to get increased traffic, they get more money, and so forth. So I hope it doesn't get runned. Uh, but so uh, what did I want to? Well, let me do this because I always do this, and then I'm going to. When you see my videos, you have a little bit of an idea of when, what was going on when the videos were made. And I've got videos on here going all the way back to uh, when uh, YouTube began in 2005. I couldn't believe I saw that video a while back up, up here. A... Uh, I think it was a female, too. A friend pushed her friend off this bridge. Down, there's some water. Maybe they'll show it. Uh, I couldn't believe that somebody would... Uh, you know, this is... They're up there, and I guess they're going to show the video. Uh, a Washington State teen has pleaded guilty to... Reckless endangerment and putting her friend off a bridge. Now they're just going to show. You'll see how far it is down. Ready? Every time I said it's just hard to watch, but new details in the case of the teen who pushed her friend off a bridge in Washington. I couldn't believe that when I saw it a while back. Anyway, um, 
uh, she's pleaded guilty. She pleaded guilty. She's 19 and pleaded guilty. Not sure how long she's going to get if... Says she faces up to a year in jail. I mean, that's... Uh, the fall... Uh, the friend that she pushed off ended up with uh, broken ribs four and damage to her lungs and a doctor said that the fall could have been fatal so what do you think the I don't think a year it's too you know somebody did something stupid but I think she definitely should serve that was I don't know I guess it would also depend on the friend who was pushed and who got the broken ribs and could have died, I think it would, if I were the judge, I think I would, you know, find out what does the friend want. But even if the friend said, oh, I, uh, I don't think I would give the, give the, the girl a year. Of course, I guess it also depend on what, you know, if there were any other circumstances, you know, was the friend uh, smoking, you know, marijuana or doing, I don't know, you know, but when I saw that, when it first hit CNN, I could not believe that. But on YouTube, you know, you all see, man, people doing the stupidest, craziest stuff. I... I think the next time you see a video from me, I now that I have my desk cleared off and I have space, of course, I'm already, you know, I have chargers over there and all types of stuff, but I think I'm going to hook this microphone back up again. You know, they have, uh, the Blue now has a whole bunch of microphones like this and less expensive and I think more, more expensive or whatever, but I think I'm going to hook this back up here. I may make another video maybe later tonight or tomorrow morning with this, and then again we'll see um, how the audio sounds. If you've been trying to <laughs> zoom and enlarge this so you can see uh, passwords or something like that, it's not, it's... Uh, it's, uh, well, the update, Windows update code today. I wrote that on, not code, but the number. And everything else is uh, Netflix, mo Netflix movies that have been recommended or by a YouTuber. I forget. Oh, I'm going to have to start saving these so I can put them down in the notes, but... He recommended, I didn't write down all of them, but he recommended uh, Goldstone, Son of a Gun, Bad Day for the Cut, uh, Moda Java, <clears throat> Black Sea, Brick, Too Late, <clears throat> Remember. Now, remember, I had already watched, and that's an interesting movie. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. That's an interesting movie, and I watched it quite a while back. And I'm, I watched it, and I thought, I ought to stop watching this. I ought to stop watching this. And I had an idea what was going on. And I thought, okay, I'll keep watching. And then the last part or whatever, it really makes it worthwhile watching. Anyway, Turbo Kid, which uh, this guy said, and it, I could see a little, you know, looks like, Looks like a kid movie, a kids movie, but it's not. And I guess it's really good. And Cam, because of YouTube, that's it, C A M, Cam. Because of YouTube and because of uh, I was one of the earliest people with a webcam or whatever. 
I don't know though if because I don't like those kind of movies, but I think I sort of have to watch it. And then there's a movie she's out of my league, and then there's Kill the Irishman, and I've tried watching that Kill the Irishman. I started watching it and almost right away. I don't. It's based on a true story from 1975, and. Uh, I just stopped. And then yesterday or whatever, I started at the beginning again and watched a little further. And I thought, no, you know. Uh, let's see. And then I mentioned this movie to somebody else. I, I, I'm not going to watch it. Uh, Autops Autopsy of Jane Doe. And... Uh, uh, that's not my type of movie at all, but I did write it down because I I know somebody else who likes those kinds of movies. I'll just mention, because he did too, the guy. The first top, first part you're going to see what an autopsy is like. Quite detailed and exacting. And, uh, of course, it's a movie. I mean, it's not real, but... You'll think it's real. And then the rest is, uh, of it after that is uh, scary stuff, freaky stuff, abnormal stuff or whatever. So this guy recommend or this guy said, hey, if you're squeamish, which I am, and it's not just squeamish, it's just, well, he said, uh, you know, skip the first part and just start watching the rest. Boy, this desk really looks, I, I bought, as soon as I got this desk and I got it used, I bought some sandpaper and everything to reef. What I need is, uh, I have a bunch of mouse pads, but what I need is, I've seen several people that doing YouTube videos that uh, have very large things on their desk that uh, pads or whatever which would work it saved me from having to do something that I don't want to do <laughs> so okay um, next time you see me you will hear me using this and we'll see how that works out this actually has worked. These headphones have, and others have worked excellent. But it's, you know, it's it's a cable and it's something setting up here where I can be setting something else up there. And so, anyway, thank you very much for, well, let me do this here. There you go. Let's zoom in here. Oops. That's not zooming in. <coughs> I think the, if I had these other lights on, I think the video would be better. Uh, here in a few days or a week or whatever, I'm going to get the uh, Amazon devices that you can plug your lights or other things. I'm going to get two of them. That way I can just say, well, I can say it because I have this set for Alexa. Uh, I can say, you know, Echo, turn on number one light, or Echo, turn on number two, or whatever, you know, set it up. So I'll be doing that. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, for watching. I'll try to see what links I can put below that you should see. <laughs>